let's consider a cylinder let's say we have a cylinder and the cylinder is actually rotating within an another cylinder so basically we have a fluid which is being contained within an annulus so let's say the height of this cylinder is h equal to 10 centimeter and then the thickness of the oil t is equal to 2 millimeter and the viscosity of the oil is 0 0.01 newton second per meter squared and the diameter let's call that one d is 10 centimeter and the cylinder is connected to a shaft and the shaft is actually rotating at omega where omega is actually equal to 10 radian per second so we are asked to find the torque and power so first of all let us consider an elemental ring on surface of cylinder so if you draw the cylinder so let's consider a part of the sections on the surface of the cylinder with the shape of a ring so whereby this distance is dh and the radius is big r so if we consider the torque on this elemental ring is equal to the f where f is actually the shear force acting on this surface multiply that with the arm's radius r but if we consider df we know that that is equal to the shear stress multiplied by da where a is this area of this part here so if we open this up so we have this length here is actually 2 pi r and this thickness is dh dh and then we consider tau the shear stress is actually equal to mu dv dy whereby this is equal to mu velocity divided by the oil thickness so here basically we are considering this the velocity gradient if we consider this uh, velocity on the cylinder compared to the velocity on the outside cylinder what we will get is actually a linear velocity where velocity here is v here is zero and the thickness is actually equal to so so the velocity will be equal to omega r divided by t so now if we put this and this into the equations oh there's another part is actually a the area a is actually equal to 2 pi r dh okay now we substitute da df and tau into the first equation here so we have dt is actually equal to mu omega r over t 2 pi r dh that's for the area and then r 
So in order to calculate the, the total torque, we're going to have to integrate over the whole of this height of the cylinder. So rearrange this a little bit. So you have 2 pi mu omega, that should be big R, R to power of 3 dH divided by T. So, in order to integrate, so you put all this constant out, 2 pi mu omega r power of 3 over t, then integration over the whole of dh, that actually just give you 2 pi mu omega r power of 3 over t multiplied by the total height of the cylinder. So, if you substitute that, what you will get is just 2 pi mu is 0 0.01 omega is 10 radian per second multiplied by r is 0 0.05 to or 3 multiplied by 0 0.1 that's the height of the cylinder divided that by 0 0.02 that actually give you 0 0.00393 newton so that's the torque so in, in order to get a power power is actually torque multiplied by omega so that's equal to 0 0.00393 multiplied by the omega which is 10 radian per second so you get a value of 0 0.0393 and the unit is what?